okay so let's have our sixth example okay so our sixth example will be this 2.18 and this is its figure okay so let us make it larger okay so for emphasis So it says, okay, so this is the question for 2.18. So replace the three forces acting on the guy wires by a single equivalent force acting on the plug pole. Use T1 is two, equals 200 pounds, T2 is equal to 400 pounds, and T3 is equal to 350 pounds. Okay, so this is the figure. So this is the plug pole, and these are the guy wires. Uh, uh, T1, T2, and T3 are the forces acting on this guy wires respectively and we need to find its resultant okay so to make the long story short so we i already have here the solution not a problem okay so let us uh, consider this so i just rewrite uh, uh i just draw the figure uh i rewrite the question and draw the figure okay so here in the figure i already um uh labeled it with its components in x and y z and z direction okay so please take note of x y and z direction okay so this is the x axis the y axis and z axis so if the points is on the other way around for example this is the x axis so if it if the point is located at the other side so it's its uh, component is negative if it is on along this side it is positive okay for y axis so this is the positive y axis the if the component of y axis of a point is on the other way on the other way around instead of here it it is located on that side so it's negative here positive so for z axis obviously uh, the positive side should be uh, the upward direction of Z. And then if it is downward, so that is downward under this uh, X, Y, and Z um, direction, X, Y, and Z uh, component, so that is negative. Okay, So that is how you name the uh, points. So for T1, its T point is 3, negative 2, 0. T2, 0, 3, 0, and for T3, negative 4, 0, 0. And then their tail, they have a common tail which is at the plug pole which is at the point 0, 0, 6. Okay? So what we do for the solution is we convert since the T1, T2, and T3 are all in um, scalar magnitude, so we convert them into vectors so that we can add those vectors T1 and T2 and T3 to find uh, the resultant R. Okay, so to make the long story short, so I compute T1, T2, and T3. So uh, T1 is multi T1 a uh, vector is equivalent to uh, T1 in scalar, which is 200 multiplied by the lambda. Okay, so the lambda is simply the difference between the tip and the tail. For example, for T1 we have negative three. 2, negative 2 and 0, so uh, we minus 3 minus 2 as 0, i, so that is for x-axis, then negative 2 minus 0, j, and 0 minus 6, k. And then uh, oh, we, we divide it by the square root of the square of the sums of everything, from 3 minus 0, negative 2 minus 0, and 0 minus 6. So, so this is what we computed, 85.714i minus 57.143j minus 171.429k. So, same as T2. So, the tip of T2 is 030 and then the tail is at 006. So, we have 0 minus 0 plus 3 minus 0 and 0 minus 6. And then the square root of every the square root of the sum of the square of everything. Zero minus zero squared plus three minus zero squared plus zero minus six squared. Then quant all of that you put it under a square root. 
So, we have 178.885J minus 337.771K. Now, take note that um, x-axis is 0 minus 0 so that we don't have an i component or the x-axis or the x component. So, we, same with T3. So, the tip of T3 is negative 4, 0, 0 and the tail is 0, 0, 6. So, we have negative 4 minus 0. Okay, from that and then we have 0 minus 0 and then 0 minus 6 for uh, z direction. And then same method, methodology, the square root of the square of the, uh, the square root of the sum of squares of everything. Negative 4 minus 0, 0 minus 0 and 0 minus 6 respectively. So that is the T3 in vector form. Negative 194.145i minus 291.218k. So we, so since they are all in vector form, so we can add them directly. 80, okay, so this is the T1 in um, vector, T2 in vector, and T3 in vector. So we can add them, the common terms for i, j, and k, so we get this. R is negative 108.431i plus 121.742j minus 820.481k, 418k. So that is the uh, the vector form of the resultant. So this is the question and this is the solution. Okay, so in order to compute the the magnitude of r in scalar form you just add the square of everything so 108.431 squared plus 121.742 squared minus 820.418 squared and then square root that in order to get a uh, the r uh, magnitude of uh, the scalar magnitude of r value but since um we are, we are trying to find the Single equivalent force R in vector form. So that is the answer. Okay. The question. And then the figure. And then the solution.